Hello guys. Hey Andrew. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Not too bad. So, you know, talking <laughs> about the new season, a second season always has a bit of a different vibe, a bit of a different feel because shows often, I guess, take note from the first season where things went. Do you guys have a particular thing that you, you've noticed about when you did the second season that might be a bit different? Uh, we watched the first episode of the second season together, like, a week ago, I mean. I, I mean, I definitely noticed some, some big changes. I felt like, I mean, I feel like the lighting's way different and the cinematography's a bit different. Even, like, the, there's, like, more of a blue kind of coloring mm. to all of it. Um, so I guess that, uh, sort of the, like, cosmetic stuff is even right. more different than maybe the content. But definitely some character changes. Right. What do you think? No, I covered it. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, certainly the mood is, is a bit... I couldn't say enough. <laughs> sorry, did I talk to one? No, 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 okay. no, you, you nailed it. I rambled, sorry, Andrew. <laughs> no, no, I don't no, think you did at no, all. No, 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 it was like, good. You know, <laughs> So, I mean, obviously, the first thing that starts out is the, the question of the cure, if it's an actual cure or not. Yeah. Uh, you know, playing those early scenes, getting, I assume it was filmed consecutively. You guys are filming that. Uh, we filmed kind of, sort of all mixed up, all jumbled up. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, same as first season, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, I guess, that kind of works in terms of filming. What, what's it like in terms of doing a second season? Is it difficult to to film it that way, or is it pretty usual, I guess, depending on films do the same kind of thing? It was a little confusing sometimes, yeah. Um, Rick Boda was pretty good at, like, catching us up on where we were in the right. story, so that we wouldn't, you know, lose track. So was Mike, but it was, it, that was required sometimes. It's always a jumble, I'm sure. Yeah, you had to do extra homework the night before when you were learning your lines. Like, right. oh, whoa, this is four episodes like back or three episodes back or whatever. It certainly, I mean, you guys, it, it's impossible to notice in terms of watching the show. That's uh, so, good. <laughs> so good job. You know? Thank you. Sometimes it feels like, from my perspective at least, I'll be like, oh, I'm so like spotty. Like, I'll be doing this mm -hmm. and then I'll think, oh, God, I don't even remember what happened here. And like, trying to keep it all together but you guys probably notice more than any of the audience would that's I guess good. <laughs> I think yeah so I mean that cure stuff I mean the question of obviously that's that's a big deal but it does set up a certain level of disaster tone as well is that does that make sense yeah kind of like dire straits it's like yeah you know yeah it, it the, definitely I feel like the stakes are kind of raised this season and there's a bit more uh, I think last season there was, you know, the the issue of kind of the quarantine and the disease outbreak, but we didn't really have an endpoint in mind, or we didn't know kind of any possible solution. Right. But this season, it seems like there are a couple solutions that could either be positive or they could be kind of self-destructive. Mm -hmm. So I think it definitely raises the stakes in that way. And I mean, there were losses in the first season, but what are the losses like this season? Are we going to see more people who who don't make it to the end, or? Is it kind of about the same? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if, if as many people die this season. I know people die, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's the stakes. I mean, that's the, the whole... stakes is, yeah, death, yeah. yeah. Death, that's, that's pretty much where it ends. Yeah. But, I mean, there's also the, the subterfuge of who's maybe betraying who. Is that is that a theme throughout the whole season or just early on? I think the like interpersonal dynamics and the the like who's against who and really questioning the kind of like ethical standpoint of, of all the, the main characters I think that's definitely kind of an ongoing theme mm. and even like last season and in this season people might kind of hop sides or you know right. switch teams and that kind of thing and I, mean, I guess that's kind of like life <laughs> right. Right. people just like switch on you and that is the cool thing, is that, I mean, uh, I, we kind of talked about this in the first season, but this show has a much different feel from anything else in the genre, in, in the age bracket even. Yeah. Do you, do you guys, did you find that it, it felt different playing it, or is it really, you know, does it compare against other stuff you've done? I haven't done anything else uh, apocalyptic. 
kind of like in the heavy kind of drama way right so it's new for me yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> I think uh, I'm thinking I it's I think that this show has like definitely a heavier feel than most teen dramas uh, or kind of shows that have I guess teenagers in a drama I should say right um yeah, I think it's just kind of maybe more of like a somber tone or something, and I think that maybe comes from our creator Michael McGowan really like kind of wanting to, I guess, emphasize like the reality of mortality. I don't know. He seems like a pretty pretty thoughtful guy, and I think that comes maybe from his direction. Is it is it nice playing that kind of different tone since there's so little of that out there? Uh. I mean, I, I love the show and I love the cast. If I'm being totally honest, I'm a bit more lighthearted. Right. You know, I, I, I like to just kind of mess around a little, be a little playful. I'm too depressed in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I cry every day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Laura. Thanks. Are there any teases you can give us about the early part of the season? Anything that people can watch for that's, that's going to be maybe a good moment I think right off the bat like first episode people will be like what <laughs> so I mean I don't, I can't, don't want to say too much more than that but there's definitely something that happens in the first episode that will have you sucked in <laughs> <laughs> I agree right do you agree yeah we watched it it was really it was really good did you have a favorite moment that you guys filmed from that first episode because mm. you guys have some pretty cool stuff oh um, I really actually liked our like one, I think the first scene that my character's in for the first season, well, we shot that kind of like in the middle of our our, our three month shoot, and uh, you know we were all kind of like warmed up and warmed into the onset dynamics and everything, and we got to shoot it inside, which was nice because it wasn't snowing outside, and right. then it was just a scene between Jesse and I, and I, I, you know, tend to like those a lot for obvious reasons. And that's a it's a fairly surprising scene, I think, for some people. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, like you were saying. It's, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good start to the whole thing and where things go from there. That uh, some of the stuff you, the characters go through early on is is pretty interesting. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. I I I'm looking forward to seeing what fans say. Have you have you guys heard much from the fans in terms of the first season? What have you heard? I, I mean, I definitely hear from a lot of fans who are like, yas and like, between, <laughs> like, they, everything has, like, a bunch of letters. Um, they make me laugh so hard, too, when they'll post things that are like, um, it'll be like memes or gifts or right. things like that. That'll be like, me excited for between, and it'll be like a person, like, running, you know, down the street or whatever. I, I think it's adorable when people uh, support it so enthusiastically and also with, like, a good sense of humor. Did... did any of the feedback that you guys got from the first season affect your performances this season? I just watched it and I thought that I was a little flat. So I, or like, um, a void of emotion. <laughs> yeah, there was feedback. One person said that, uh, when my mom died on the show, I showed about just as much emotion as someone would if they spilled a glass of milk on the floor. And I agreed with that. And so I uh, I decided to make a make a different make an adjustment. Maybe do you, uh, do you get, how do you guys deal with, with fan criticism? I I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew that was true. Because um, I, I already saw it and uh, you know, even <laughs> what is there something for me? Yeah, my, my dad dies and I... Dad. <laughs> I was going through something. It's it's kind of like reading the mean tweets. I think I think there's there's something, I don't know, compelling and, and also freeing about that. Yeah. I, I don't think it's necessarily something, uh, something to, to uh, I don't know, take too seriously. <laughs> but sometimes, like, he's right. Sometimes people who are haters can really like bring you in touch with your insecurities I speak I guess for myself mm. in a weird way like there's maybe there are certain things that I'm insecure about that I like hope that nobody else notices or like I think like no one will see this about me and then some, some hater will point it out and I'll be like dang it they, like, <laughs> they know every flaw <laughs> they see it all um, but I definitely think yeah like having a more uh, 
just like laughing about it is helpful, but also if there is a way to see the positive side and be like, eh, right. well, it is what it is. In terms of playing through the season, uh, do you, is there something that you hope fans take away from, from what you guys did this, this second season? Um, Some moment you really hope hits home somewhere that, you know, maybe fans can watch for. For me, I hope that I play a mother in a way that moms can hmm. relate to and appreciate, I guess. I, I know sometimes, uh, like, honestly, we just saw a preview for that new movie called, like, Bad Moms or right. Bad Mothers or something. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, well, how many of those people were moms? Like, come on. Like, they all, they're all, like you know 19 years old whatever that kind of thought and even though I do play a teen mom I I don't know I guess it's something that I want to make sure hmm. I play with like credibility right. just as you, much as I can I thought you said because I said that and then you said that they're all they moms. are they're all moms yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to throw you under the bus <laughs> you said they're all moms I'm like okay but are they mothers yet like because they all look young to me and, and I'm like then, Mila Kunis is a daughter who's two years old thank you so much okay <laughs> yeah I know because I was like, oh, okay, so, okay, so they they have they have something to go off then. Actually, I do have one follow up question. Uh, do you do your characters stay together through the whole season? Are we going to see you guys fairly well bonded, or does it come apart? Or that's an interesting one. I think the writers have some fun with that. Maybe take a few liberties. Cool. Manipulate things and because obviously around. that's a big thing for the fans too is watching where the two characters go together. Yeah, yeah. I think they're the the Adam and Wiley relationship is something that's kind of really uh, y you got to watch it throughout the season because there's definitely a lot of attention given to it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. I look forward to seeing the whole season.